Wasabi guys, welcome back to another Commander video. This time we're going to be discussing ways that you can protect your graveyard from removal. As always, if you appreciate these videos and you want to see more of them, hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. We are getting very close to 40,000 subscribers. It's a massive milestone. Thank you so much. This idea actually comes from a comment that I received a couple weeks ago, and I've been meaning to get around to this because it is such a unique topic. We have a lot of ways of removing graveyards. It's an underrated topic in its own right, but what's even more rare is protecting ourselves from such hate in a commander game. So this comment from Tactics Attacks a couple weeks ago, longtime viewer of the channel, thank you so much. Commander Void, video idea for you. Ways to protect your graveyard from being exiled. What's interesting about this is that it's not as straightforward as you would imagine. If you're trying to think of any cards that would prevent your graveyard from being exiled, like just straight up says your graveyard can't be exiled, you won't find them because they don't exist. As hard to find it is actual good graveyard hate, you really have to think outside the box when it comes to protecting your graveyards. And some of the most prominent strategies when it comes to graveyard decks are of course creature reanimation, you have self mill, and you even have spell slinger strategies that want to cast their instants and sorceries from the graveyard. Goes without saying that if any of these commander options that you see right here were to go in the mid game and have their entire graveyards exiled, it would very likely equal defeat. Now you could play cards like Silent Gravestone, Ground Seal, Denic Pious Apprentice, Underworld Cerberus. What they do is they prevent your cards in your graveyards from being the targets of spells and abilities. Which is nice if that's what you're going up against. You have a lot of cards that just specifically target individual cards in graveyards, so these would put an end to that. However, these are really more intended to prevent the graveyard decks in question from actually going off and being successful. So playing them as ways of protecting your own graveyard is very counterintuitive and you just end up hurting yourself. So yes, they will protect in certain situations, but they're more of a double-edged sword and they would just end up hurting you. They'd be great against a lot of creatures like Deathrite Shaman, Chainer Dementia Master, and Angel of Serenity. Don't want your opponents to target individual cards in your graveyard for any reason, but as I said, the previous cards are not really optimal. What's even more common than creatures and other cards that can target specific cards in graveyards are cards like these that will just target a player and have them exile all the cards from their graveyard. Bajukabog probably being the most common, the most well-known out of these, as it's considered to be a staple in most black decks. It enters the battlefield tapped, and then you exile all cards from target player's graveyard, essentially being like paying one mana to exile a graveyard. Tormod's Crypt and Remorseful Cleric are going to see a bit less play, however you are more likely to be able to play them if you can take advantage of graveyard artifact strategies and graveyard creature strategies. I showed Carador earlier in the video. Remorseful Cleric is a great card to play in Carador, as it could really be a graveyard strategy that's hurting on other graveyard strategies. Crypt Incursion and a lot of other cards that do something similar see even less play, but again, it's the same overall ability, targeting a player, exiling cards from target player's graveyard. Since this is more likely to be what you encounter in a commander game, and again, there isn't a way that directly says your cards can't be exiled from your graveyard, we have to think outside of the box and what all of these have in common is that they target a player. So rather than interacting with your graveyard at all in order to protect it, you could just simply give yourself Hexproof, Aegis of the Gods, Keen Eared Sentry, Leyline of Sanctity, Shalai Voice of Plenty, Orbs of Wandering if you need a colorless way of protecting yourself. Until we actually get a card that says your cards in your graveyard can't be exiled, this is the next best thing. It won't protect from all graveyard hate, but it will against those commonly seen cards that target you. I will admit, with the exception of Shalai, Voice of Plenty, and Leyline of Sanctity, the other three just don't see that much commander play. So what are some other ways that you can protect your graveyard, since we don't really have a direct way of protecting it? You could use cards that shuffle your graveyard into your library. Elixir of Immortality, Felden's Cane, Thran Foundry are all artifacts at one mana that you could throw into any deck if your major concern is protecting your graveyard. I personally like Elixir of Immortality, even though it's going to be more mana, you're gaining yourself 5 life. Blessed Respite is a newer card from Modern Horizons 2. It's a green instant that, even if you're not using it as a fog, it also has that going for it, so not only are you going to be shuffling your graveyard into your library to protect yourself, but if you have a low life total, this could save you during that turn. All very underrated ways of keeping your graveyard intact by not really saving it, but rather allowing you to retrieve those cards later in the game from your library. This is important if your strategy depends on cards that would be exiled. We have probably some of the most unique creature ETBs here in Loaming Shaman and Rift Sweeper, both green creatures in my opinion that should see a lot more play than they already do. Especially Loaming Shaman, since it could be multi-purposed. You don't have to use it on your own graveyard, you could use it on an opponent, 
components. So if you want to save your graveyard contents for later, you can do that. But you can also do this to really hurt an opponent's strategy when they have a full graveyard. Rift Sweeper is one of the few cards that will actually interact with cards in exile. This is really a must-have for you combo players if you have a combo piece that gets exiled. This is one of the only ways you have of bringing those combo pieces back. And at only two mana, it's very efficient to get out there. The ETB means you could bounce it, play it again, get its trigger off again. I know it doesn't protect your graveyard from anything, but it's always a contingency that I think people need to consider if they're playing green. And for you blue players, if you're more interested interested in things like Spellslinger or even Mill, I think you have a couple cards to consider here in Stream of Consciousness. I know we have a lot of blue cards that will shuffle graveyards into libraries, but since those are sorceries, it does make it a little bit harder to protect yourself with them. So I like cards like Stream of Consciousness. Target player shuffles up to four target cards from their graveyard into their library. It's not going to protect your entire graveyard, just the four most important ones. What I really like in Mill is Psychic Spiral, and even outside of Mill. It is five mana, but at instant speed, you have a way of shuffling all the cards in your graveyard into your library, and then making an opponent mill that many cards off off the top of their library. So it's another multi-purposed card. If you really care about Mill, it could be one of the most powerful plays. But if you have a graveyard filled with good instants and sorceries, someone plays a Bajuka Bog, you have this as a response. So anyway, that's going to do it for the video. Let me know what you think about ways of protecting your graveyard. I know it's not a very common thing. We barely even talk about graveyard hate as it is, and I could make an entire video about that. But I liked the idea of making this video because, as Tactics Attacks mentioned, it doesn't really come up in videos. It doesn't come up in our articles, Reddit threads, forums, wherever you're looking. You get a lot of recommendations for cards that will allow you to recycle from your graveyard, which is nice and everything, but we need ways of actually preventing our graveyard from being exiled. And again, we don't have a direct way of doing that, so we have to get creative with things like giving yourself hexproof, shuffling your graveyard into your library at instant speed, ways of actually solving the initial problem. So thank you so much for the recommendation, and thank you all for watching. Again, subscribe if you have not already. Commander Void here, I will see you all next time.